Everyman Driver Nation, what's going on? Dave Erickson here. I'm on location and this is a rental car. This week I have a 2017 Chevy Traverse. Now, I don't have a bunch of details on it. I do know some numbers. I'll have all the information on this if you want to do some more research on everymandriver.com. But I'm here in the Portland, Vancouver area, visiting family, doing some shopping, and I got this great rental car. It's a 2017, and I don't get Chevys, so let's go ahead and do a quick walk around overview of what I've learned in my uh, last few days of driving this. This is not a review. This is just a fun walk around. What I've learned, this here is a 3.6 liter V6 made to a six speed automatic transmission, standard engine, but it's got lots of horsepower. 288 horsepower, 262 pound feet of torque. This has a towing capacity over 5,000 pounds. The main competitor, according to Chevy, is the Ford Explorer, and this uh, hauls a little bit more, like 200 pounds more of towing capacity. Fuel economy is 22 city, 15 or 16 highway. So Chevy's looking for a mixed driving number of 18 in mixed driving. All right, let's start this baby up. We've got a key, not a key fob. One thing that stands out already is the blinker is super loud. Let's see if you can hear this or not. Wait, oh, here it comes. You may or may not be able to hear that, but it is annoying when you're waiting at a stoplight. Now, not a huge screen for the infotainment, but it is touchscreen. I'm not super familiar with Chevy because uh, I don't get in many of those cars, but you can do some touchscreen. It's got some pretty cool graphics on it and good uh, resources, but we have this LT trim level and as a rental car. They don't really you know, give, you, give us too much, but they've got the heated seats, all the climate controls right there, options for FM radio, Pandora, XM radio, and so on. Uh, here's your six-speed automatic transmission down below. Cup holders, plenty of space, and I've been using my USB port to charge and plug in my phone and drink lots of water from Starbucks. So there's all that. Up here, I guess you'd call the usual suspects on the steering wheel mounted controls. I uh, got the cruise control, I believe, over here on the left-hand side. Over here, you're going to find your Bluetooth technology, which is fantastic. You always got to be hands-free to be safe these days. Now, instrument cluster, check that out. Interesting design and uh, layout with a bunch of circular dials. It looks good. It doesn't take that long to get used to. So that's what that looks like. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at your backseat legroom and headroom. Real world rental car legroom and headroom. Close it up. This has been my driving position all week. How's the glare? Is it okay in the background? Okay. Uh, leg room and head room for guys 511. Pretty decent. Haven't had a chance to really sit back here. Haven't needed to, uh, but lots of room between my knees and the back of the seat. Head room is great too. Nice little lean with this back seat. This does have seating capacity of eight. We've got the two, two, and three seat configuration. So it's got a nice pass through, but we've also been doing some shopping. So we're storing some of the things here. So it's pretty easy to access the third row of seats with some practice. So there's a handle here on the side of the seat. I'm gonna pull it forward. Watch what happens here with this seat cushion. It lifts up, which gives you some room to slide it forward. So now you have a lot of room to make way in the back here. Actually, this is pretty spacious. Now I can slide this seat back. Watch what happens here. Seat back and then I can push this down and now people can use that seat and I have room back here. And the knees are okay. Surprisingly, they're not that uh, messed up like in some cars where they're super low. I can use this and be somewhat comfortable in the back row seats. Again, probably a place that you want to have the kids but most likely you're just gonna use it for cargo and fold these back seats down, which I will do coming up now. Now there are a couple of ways to open the, the lift gate. There's a button here on the key fob. There's also lift this tab, which we'll just do for this uh, sake. By the way, there's your backup camera directly below the Chevy bow tie. Okay, lift the button here. Power lift gate. It's behind this third row seats you're looking at about 24 cubic feet of volume there is some storage down below so 
you can hide some things, keep it out of view. In case you're traveling, using this as a rental car. Fold these down, which are a 60-40 split. I'll just do it as far as I can. Once these are completely flat, you're looking at about 70 cubic feet of volume, of cargo volume. And then with that middle row, if you're able to lay it flat, which you can, then you're looking at 116 cubic feet of volume, which is quite a bit. A lot of space, a lot of flat space because that middle row does fold flat. There you go. I'm going to push the button and close it up and wrap it up. That was lap number five. I've been going around the car for the last three minutes. So, Melissa, thank you for videotaping this for me. MSRP on this between $28,000 and $44,000. I'm having a lot of fun with this just because we're on vacation in a way. I will have all the real information about this 2017 Chevy Traverse on everymandriver.com, but we're not taking things too seriously. We're having fun. And uh, luckily we had a 2017 to rent during our trip. So that's officially gonna wrap up my rental car review of this 2017 Chevy Traverse. Uh, that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you had fun with this, and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks to Melissa. Adios. Hey guys, it's Dave. I just want to say thanks once again for supporting every man driver and watching my videos. Can you do me a small favor? The next time you're in the market for a new or used car, and want to schedule a test drive or just want to get a really great price quote from a dealership of your choice in your zip code, click on the link below and fill out a short form. It's car.show forward slash everyman driver. Now, every time you do a search, I get a very small commission. Now, it's totally free to you and there's no obligation whatsoever to buy or lease anything. It's just a quick and easy way for you to help support my work and keep this channel going. There's also a free phone number 844-765-0610 and you can talk to a car segment specialist for car shopping advice and direction. That call is also free to you. The link again, car.show forward slash everyman driver. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again.